Hello! Today we are making peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. Of course, all vegan. I am so excited for this recipe. They're gonna taste amazing. Let's just get started, shall we? <laughs> the first thing you're gonna do is that you're gonna mix your dry ingredients. You will need one cup and one fourth of oatmeal flour. This is basically oatmeal. I put it in the blender and it turned into this flour, okay? Three fourths cup of shredded coconut. This is gonna add a lot of sweetness to our cookies. Three fourths of a teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of powdered cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of vanilla powder or extract. And one fourth of a teaspoon of Himalayan salt. We're gonna put all of these ingredients in one bowl and mix them all really well. Now we're gonna mix the rest of our ingredients in a separate bowl. First, we're gonna put our banana because we're gonna mash it with a fork, okay? Two flax eggs. This is going to substitute eggs in this recipe. It's basically just two tablespoons of flax seeds with six tablespoons of water. You let it sit for about 10 minutes and then you have this gooey texture a perfect egg substitute and very nutritious because flax seeds are full of omega-3 fatty acids. Half a cup of coconut sugar, one fourth cup of peanut butter, and I'm using chunky peanut butter, but you can use the soft one if you want. So you just mix it all really, really well. And once it's all mixed really well, we're gonna add our dry ingredients into this bowl, okay? The best way to mix this is just with a spatula. Yummy. And I like to add the chocolate chips at the end. These ones are made with rice milk, so they're completely vegan. But you can also use cacao nibs if you want. Now you just get your baking pan, put some parchment paper or a little plastic like this, and we make the forms of our cookies. You make it into like a little ball, and then you're gonna flatten it, and then you're gonna put it in the oven. Maybe it's just easier to just use your hands. And then with a spatula, you just flatten them, and then you can actually form the shape of your cookies. And you can make them flatter or fluffier. If you make them flatter, they're gonna bake easier and better. Now we're gonna put them in the oven for 10 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Our cookies are ready. You just want them to be a little bit hard, okay? We're just gonna put them on a plate and let them cool for a bit. Don't these look seriously amazing? Yum. And our cookies are ready. They're super warm and gooey and the chocolate has melted and I'm accompanying it with some rice milk. Yum. Ready? Let's do this. Mmm. 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 Wow. They are so, so, so good. Like really, 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 really good. I really hope that you guys try this recipe. If you try it, please upload your picture using the hashtag Ravana recipe on Instagram. And let me know in the comments below if you guys liked it, if you guys want to make it, or if you have your own version of peanut butter chocolate chip cookies, I would love to know. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. You guys helped my channel out so much. And subscribe here if you have not subscribed. And to my website, Ravana.com as well. I am working Working on a new ebook that's coming out January 2017. And if you sign up, you'll be the first to know. So excited for it. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest, all at Ravana. Sending lots of love and light, and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye!